Hey guys, it's Kay Jones here and I'm going to be showing you how to chop down Scolicep mushroom caps and basically it's the second best wood cutting XP in the game per hour besides three ticking teaks and it's also the best way to get the most amount of fossils per hour. So here's the gear you're going to want. Basically full lumberjack is recommended. If you don't have full lumberjack, you can do full graceful and bring the best pickaxe you have. Um, it doesn't have to be infernal, it can be dragon or rune. The next thing you want to do is make sure that you have the requirements completed such as 65 wood cutting and the bone voyage quest completed which unlocks Fossil Island. Next, if you have been to Fossil Island before, there's a very good likely chance that you've unlocked the Fossil Island teleport on your dig site pendant. If not, I'll show you where to do that. So if you arrive on Fossil Island, which will be in this little camp location, you're going to run all the way north to the house on the hill, which is right here. So you're going to go here and go over this little plank thing, run north, and you'll get to the house on the hill, which you've visited in the Fossil Island quest. So once you're here, you're going to use your dig site pendant and use it on the strange machine and therefore you'll unlock the fossil island teleport. The next best thing to do is to unlock all the magic mushroom trees. You don't have to do this, but it's highly recommended. But for this guide specifically, you need to unlock the house on the hill, which we're currently at, and also the sticky swamp teleport, the mushroom. So go ahead after you've unlocked that dig site pendant to go to Fossil Island, I'm going to show you where to get the Sticky Swamp um, Mushroom unlocked. For the sake of the video, I'm going to go to Mushroom Meadow. You do not need to unlock this one, but it is in this location. We're going to take a look at the map. If you look down here, we have a little transportation icon. That's where we're going to unlock the Sticky Swamp Mushroom tele tele Teleport, Quick Teleport. I'm going to show you how to get there. So we're going to go ahead and start running south. For the sake of y'all knowing where I am, I'm going to keep the map up. I'm just running south. Da, 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 da. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Alright, and now we're here. I'm going to go ahead and close this. Quick, watch my character as where I go. So now you're finally in the sticky swamp situation. Here you are. And follow my character and we'll, I'll show you where you can unlock the teleportation to the sticky swamp. So here we go, one, two, you'll need your axe through here, so basically I'm just running through the swamp and yes you'll be attacked, you need to clear the vines right here, keep going, and you're going to need to cut down these thick vines, it's going to be a little awkward at first because you're not really used to how to do this, but you'll learn pretty fast. Okay, and here we go. We gotta chop through some more vines. These things, these spine mushrooms, will poison you. And then finally, you wanna chop these thick vine right here. Yes, you will have a little monster. Make sure you don't have auto retaliate on. And here is the magic mushroom tree. So here we are. And as you can see right here, there's a mushy bed. There is a quicker way to get here, and I will show you. So basically, this will not have anything there, but I, you can use these mushrooms that you get from chopping down the Skullcep sprouts. You can use that on this and it will, will make you not take 40 damage. For the sake of the video, I would just run down here. Another thing you can do though, is if you don't feel like running all the way south like I did, you can simply, we're going to go back north, okay, just kidding, let's just use this mushroom tree. There's another way to do this, but you're going to be taking a lot of damage. Now, basically, like I said, I put a bunch of mushrooms in that big old bush or whatever. That protects me from 45 damage. So be very extremely careful, but if you want to get to that teleport faster, what you can do, make sure you have food in your inventory. You're going to come over here. And you're going to step on this rubber cap mushroom. Okay, and once you step on that, what's going to happen is you will fall back into that location all the way down here where the teleport is. You basically, you need to click on that mushroom and you've unlocked the, the, the swamp teleport. And you'll take 40 damage unless you have 9 mushrooms placed in the spot. So, there's a couple different ways to get there. Next, I'm going to show you the route that you can take. 
Hey guys, so this is a location when you cut down the tree spawn in number one, it will disappear and come back up in two. Cut that down, it'll show up in number three location, four, five, and six, etc. You can come back to this map to pause it and look at it while you're cutting your tree runs. But I'm going to go ahead and show you. So this is the first location on the map, which is going to be by your mash magic mushroom tree. And we're going to go ahead and start cutting this tree. Now I'm cutting this tree, I have wine, jugs of wine in my inventory in case I'm attacked by one of those swamp monsters. It, whenever you're cutting trees, they don't really bother you. It's more of when you're running in the swamp. Also, there's a rare chance to get these Solicep cap, mushroom caps. You, as Iron Man, since I am an Iron Man, I'm going to put this in this video. You can make a pie out of this. You'll put this in some dough and cook the pie, and it'll give you plus four in crafting. A lot of people like that instead of having to deal with that with the, uh, the soups. Um, the spicy soup so I just wanted to add that in there okay now that this tree is chopped I highly recommend that you take these mushrooms and fill this mud pit now I don't have nine of them so I can't do that but that's highly recommended okay and next you're gonna cut through this thick vine we have a tar monster popping up but that's okay We'll go ahead and drink some some of that wine there it heals nine health and I oh I got poison so go ahead and drink your anti-poison these spine mushrooms will point poison you pretty well uh, yeah I like to use wines especially as an iron because I just have a ton of them and I never use them for anything so they're really good to use with these soliceps um, I'm actually 30k from 88 wood cutting which is really nice but this is the second location on that map that I was talking about it depends on how long these things take to cut down sometimes you cut them really fast and sometimes you get a ton of mushrooms out of them and a ton of xp it depends on the rate honestly so you'll just have to every every scolicep is different when it respawns and once okay i finished that we're gonna go to location three on the map so just follow my character and thankfully they updated this to where the crazy archaeologist will you won't take damage from it they kind of cut it off which is nice but yeah you're gonna have to cut through these thick vines and it's going to take a couple rounds to get used to this but i'll show you how you can continue this run so yeah they will attack you just hide behind the little bushes and you should be fine it does blab on your screen which is annoying and you can actually get these hoop snakes it's really cool Okay, I'm at location three right now, and I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and come back when I get to the fourth location. To the fourth location, this is where you need will need a rake, and you will basically clear these vines right here. Okay, and you will go ahead and cut the fourth location, because as you can see, as you chop it down, it then respawns in the next location, so that's how it works. And then after I chop this down, I'll go ahead and go to the fifth location to the fifth location chop chop and usually I just drop this and continue doing more inventories but I'll show you how I go to the bank and come back to the island very quickly as well just so you can see how the route works as if I were to do this um, like watching a show or something okay so that was the fifth location now we're going to the sixth which is the last location we'll see how long this takes to cut down uh, people ask if you can use these mushrooms for anything. The only thing I can know that you can use them for is using them on that little landing pad for when you jump on this rubber cap. Uh, they, they gives a ton of fossils. I'm not getting as lucky this time. But anyway, if I were to continue doing uh, the run, I would jump on this rubber cap mushroom and land back at the very beginning of the site. However, another thing is if you have a full inventory or you need to get more food, you can go ahead and teleport to your house and restock on what you need to restock. Um, so, for example, if you have a pool, you can go ahead and drink, do whatever you have to do, get more stuff. And then, for the sake of the video, I'm just going to show you, you can tell back to teleport back to Fossil Island right here. And you'll just simply go to, you will go to the Sticky Swamp. And then here you are again. So you can either jump and take that 40 damage or you can fill the mud pit to take no damage and you just fill it with these mushrooms right here. And you'll start over to the phase one and then just do it and do it again. And it's amazing, uh, by far amazing 
uh, wood cutting XP and I quite enjoy it and I've almost finished all of my fossils and what's great is whenever you make put the fossils into a skeleton or whatever you get um, you get XP lamps so I really enjoy this this is how I've gotten a lot of my wood cutting XP as an Iron Man this is also how I'm finishing up my fossils and I think there will eventually be an update to where um, they will have a fossil boss or something like that so you can get your rare fossils from here thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed this guide give it a thumbs up and if you're interested in keeping up with my videos feel welcome to subscribe to my channel i also do a lot of irl videos and i really enjoy that so thanks for watching guys